Namaste students, I am Srimati Anupama Rao from Mangala Vidya Mandira. Let us start with the first lesson of English language. Before we start, let us go through the syllabus of what we learn in English language this academic year. Household articles, buildings, environment, travel, hobbies, farming, profession, art, adventure, additional activities, read the stories, sing the songs, have fun, pronounce words well. I want you to put your best effort in learning English language. The first lesson is a poem which teaches you the importance of time using an example of a clock. Students, I will recite the poem twice. First time just listen to me without looking into the book. Second time I want you to read the poem along with me. The Clock of Life Robert H. Smith The clock of life is bound but once and no man has the power to tell just when the hands will stop at late or early hour. To lose one's wealth is sad indeed, to lose one's health is more, to lose one's soul is such a loss that no man can restore. Today only is our own, so live, love and toil with a will, for the clock may soon be still. Students, now you, you have to repeat with me. The Clock of Life, Robert H. Smith The clock of life is wound but once and no man has the power to tell just when the hands will stop at late or early hour. To lose one's wealth is sad indeed, to lose one's health is more. To lose one's soul is such a loss that no man can restore. Today only is our own. So live, love and toil with the will. For the clock may soon be still. Let us now understand the poem. The clock of lies the clock of life is wound but once and no man has the power to tell just when the hands will stop at late or early hour. That means the clock will start working by turning a key once, but no man can say when the hands of the clock stops. In the same way, when our life will start, no person can say when it will stop. That means no person has the power to know when our life ends. When we come to the fifth line, to lose one's wealth is sad indeed. That means if we lose our money or property, we will be sad in fact. To lose one's health is more means if we lose our health, we will be more sad. To lose one's soul is such a loss that no man can restore means the loss of soul cannot be restored. We cannot bring our soul back. Today only is our own. So live, love and toil with the will. For the clock may soon be still. The poet is telling that only today belongs to us. Our life may stop any day. So we have to live the life. We have to love our life and we have to work with the will. That means whatever we do, must be done with wholehearted effort and strong determination. Now we shall learn the meaning of some words. Wind Verb Make a clock work by turning a key or handle. Toil Work Restore Repair Bring back Marali Taru now I will read some words. You have to listen and repeat. Wound, noun, gaya, bound, verb, the past tense of wind, early, bega, more, jasti, clock, gadiara, power, shakti, lose, kaledukullu, own, swanta, toil, kastapattu kelesamadu, restore, marusthapisu, maralitaru. Then, 
here you can see some sentences and you have to say whether it is true or false by ticking yes or no the first one is man has the power to stop the clock of life no he has not to lose one's wealth is sad indeed yes it is we all give importance to health yes we do we should love we should live love and toy with will yes we should students next one is fill in the blanks you have to choose the correct answers from the stars and write the answers in the blanks the clock stops dash or dash the clock stops late or early losing wealth is dash but losing health is sadder still losing wealth is sad but losing health is sadder still the loss of dash cannot be restored the loss of time cannot be restored when you look at the next page you can see some of the pictures of a house in the box you can see some of the names of the articles you should write those in the right column the first column is living room the second column is kitchen the third column is bedroom the fourth column is bathroom the fifth column is dining hall now we will read the first word in the box chair usually you will see chairs kept in the living room so you can write the word chair in the first column that is living room curtain living room bucket bathroom telephone living room bed bedroom spoons kitchen stove kitchen tap bathroom dining table dining hall television living room pillow bedroom alarm clock bedroom cooker kitchen glass kitchen bowl kitchen shower bathroom sofa living room table living room students you walk around in your house observe the things and uh, think in your mind to which place do they belong to and discuss the same with your parents or brothers or sisters now i will read some words the names of the objects and we have to frame questions on it and we have to answer for those questions one is done for you plate what's a plate for it's for eating broom what's a broom for it's for sweeping cooker what's a cooker for it's for cooking mixer what's a mixer for it's for grinding wash basin what's a wash basin for it's for washing now i will read some words you have to repeat with me fill feel slip sleep fit feet dip deep bit beat will wheel pull pull ship sheep full full now you can see some of the pictures and we will say the names of those pictures door tub spoons fan bed pin stool sheep in the next page you can see the two columns in the first column you should write short vowel words and in the second column you should write long vowel sounds short vowels bed mop long vowels stool tree shoes students 
whenever you read some words you have to practice judging whether the word is of short vowel or it is of long vowel students in the page number 9 you should fill in the boxes by looking at the pictures the first one is done for you toothpaste nail cutter water towel soap comb whenever you look at the things at your home try to say the spellings of those we will we will be continuing the remaining session in the next class students if you repeat the answers or whatever you learn again and again you will remember that forever so please do the practice of repeating again and again this practice will help you a lot thank you